Thank you for choosing Garage Gator as your garage storage solution. The Garage Gator will come with most of the hardware you need to install, but be sure to have on hand the following items which are not included. After unpacking the Garage Gator, cut off plastic tie wraps from both spools on the motor to prevent damage to the motor and cables. Before you begin, lay the Garage Gator out on the floor, mirrored to the way it will be on the ceiling. This will allow you to see how sections will go together. Use a stud finder to determine where you want to install the Garage Gator and which way your joists are running and if they are 16 or 24 inches on center. The Garage Gator is made to fit either 16 or 24 inches on center. Once determined, measure an area 10 feet in length and at least 3 feet away from the wall for mounting the unit. Using the paper template provided, mark the holes on the ceiling, making sure that they are on a joist, and then drill pilot holes for installing the motor mounting plate. Secure the motor mounting plate into place. Screw the four supplied nuts to the threads of the mounting plate, but do not tighten them. Slide the motor onto the motor mounting plate in the direction determined by your layout, and tighten the nut securely. Attach the first spacer bar to the attachment tab on the motor in the direction previously determined. If mounting parallel to the joist, all or any holes within each spacer bar can be utilized. If mounting perpendicular, use the holes that are 16 or 24 inch spaced, determined by your joist spacing. Use the provided hardware to mount in place. Repeat for the second spacer bar. Attach the third spacer bar. This will be the spacer channel pulley bar. Plug the unit in. An extension cord may be used if an outlet is not close to installed unit. Lower cables until 9 feet of cable is visible. Make sure that the down button is not held to avoid the cable reversing direction. Take cable on the spool nearest the motor attachment tab and spool out onto the outer spacer channel pulley bar by removing the cotter pin. Connect the provided hook bar. And before attaching the end pieces, slide the hooks or bite cables into place, then attach the end pieces. Connect the cable hook to the hook bar on both ends. At this point, you have the option of incorporating the bite cables to the hook bar. To use the bite cables, simply run them through the rear and front tires and clip the carabiners together. This is a great option to hang a kayak or bicycle. At this point, you can raise the hook bar into position. Hang bicycles, golf bags, or a variety of items from the hook bar. 